Hello everybody and welcome to part 4 of my Paper Mario walkthrough. We just finished the Goomba King battle and we've reached the screen where we can save and continue, save and quit, or quit or continue without saving. So we're going to go ahead and save and continue and we're going to get another fairly important cutscene. Well actually throughout the story we get a lot of cutscenes involving Peach up in her castle. Mostly they're after we, um, mostly they're going to be after we save a star spirit. But we're going to have this cutscene right now with Kami Koopa. Mighty King Bowser, I've been looking for you. A report, your evilness. Mario defeated the Goomba King. He's heading for Toe Town now. What? Unbelievable! What was Goomba King thinking? I used the Star Rod to make him a king because he begged me. And Mario whips him so easily? What a whip. Uh, Kami Koopa. Are sure that Mario can never defeat us, right? Please, please, your vileness, try to be calm. Goomba King is small time. I had a feeling he'd fail. It doesn't matter because while you hold the star rod, you are definitely invincible. You can beat Mario with one clop tied behind your back. Yes, yes, very good. <laughs> by the by, Candy Koopa. Those star spirits we capture don't have any way of giving Mario their power, do they? Please, don't worry yourself. Each is held separately, and each is carefully guarded by your hand-picked subjects. Even Mario can't save all seven of the star spirits. Hmm. Who's the closest star spirit to Mario? It's that one in Cooper Brothers Fortress, right? Yeah, that's going to be our very first dungeon in the game, Cooper Brothers Fortress. If Mario somehow reaches there, can the Cooper, can the Cooper Brothers defeat him? King Bowser, you mustn't worry. I wonder who that could be. Hiya! Oh look, it's Teenage Mutant Ninja Koopas. Look at that. These are awesome guys. Here come the Cooper Brothers. Uh huh. Oh yeah, we're the coolest of the cool. Psst, Kami Koopa, are you sure these guys can get the job done? Like big, like Big Daddy Kane can with his 1989 rap song. That Goomba King was gigantic, and even he couldn't beat Mario. Psst, <laughs> real King Bowser. Yeah, the Goomba King was huge. He was a total Empola. We're nothing like him. See, what we've got going on is the power of teamwork. Together, we can put the hurt on Mario in seconds flat. Excellent, that's the spirit. Sell it, Cooper Brothers. Show our King that special attack you do so well. Yes, ma'am. Ready, everybody? And they're going to do some kind of move right here. Uh, you're going to see actually this move when we reach the boss battle. Oh, oh! That, this thing is, oh! <laughs> wow. How'd you like it, King Bowser? How was it? Oh yeah, excellent! Really, I'm not, e I'm not easily impressed either! Way to be sarcastic, Bowser. Mario won't have a chance if you finish him with that attack! We'll, t we'll take him, King Bowser. By the way, my Cooper Brothers, about that captured star spirit I looked up here, I locked up in your fortress. Who's guarding him right now? Uh, nobody, sir. You know, we're right here, and so... You idiots! Use your heads! Get back to the fortress and guard that star spirit! Get some cartoony sounds right there. Okay, now after that cutscene, we finally can get back to our adventuring right here. If we go down this way, we're gonna get a Sleepy Sheep. Called it, yep. Uh, sleepy Sheeps actually are not that useful in my opinion. Um, it just lulls your, it just, uh, lulls your enemy to sleep, and I just don't find it that useful. Uh, hit this tree, and you get this uh, little spring right here. Jump on that, and you get a treasure chest. And inside this treasure chest, it's the hammer throw badge. If you, it hits one enemy with a hammer, no matter where the enemy is. So you can, so in combat, you can um, use that special badge. I think I can turn it on really quick. Oh no, it requires two. Um, if you use that, you can um, select an enemy um, and throw a hammer to them, and it doesn't really, and it doesn't matter at all. Um, they don't have to be close to you, so you can throw them from just about anywhere. All right, let's, we go this way, and we finally reach Toe Town. Mario, I'm so glad to see you're okay. The, toad is, the town is in uproar. The 
The town is in an uproar. The prince is kidnapped. The very castle uprooted. It's bedlam. I really don't know what we can do about all this. Please, Mario, save her highness. I will try, my toad. I will certainly try. So yes, this is Toad Town, the main hub of the game. Uh, it's got, I think, four or so, four or five different parts to it. And there are a whole bunch of buildings in this area. Uh, this is a library. Also, some buildings have their own, like, theme music, too. This library has its own theme music. This is a shop where you can buy items. This is the dojo, but we can't access it right now. This is just an area, a little park, or something like that. And, uh, this warp pipe may be familiar. If you, uh, go down this, it takes you all the way back to our house. And there's Luigi sitting on there. La 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 la. I wonder what my brother Mario is doing right now. I love that sound. Whoa, Mario, it's you! Good to see you, brother! And you're alright! After all that castle craziness, I was really worried about you. I ran outside just as the earthquake started, so I managed to escape in time. <laughs> I love that sound effect. <laughs> okay. Oh, and who are you? I'm Kumbario, nice to meet you. I see, great, just great. You're on an exciting adventure with Mario. Talk about unfair. Yeah, right. See, some don't, someone has to look after this house, so I can't leave. Oh well, take care of Mario, okay? Okay, so, uh, there's the mailbox. We check it, nothing there. Uh, let's see, can we go to this bush? Okay. Uh, yeah. Um, Mario's house here, um, pretty much all that's here is just Luigi. And, um, if you go inside, you can see kind of like your status of your game. Like if you, uh, if you, um, press A on this, uh, like, bulletin board, you get your status. You have, like, coins earned, badges collected, star pieces collected. We're way early in the game. There's a whole bunch of more things to get. Um, number of battles, your first strikes, enemy first strikes, and then those question marks are things you'll have to put along as you go on in the game. There's your bed, you can rest here if you want. Here's the box where letters addressed to Mario go. It's empty right now. Um, yeah, you're gonna receive letters in the game, like from the, I think from the post office. Um, and they'll, I think they'll go there. But there's really nothing we can do at, uh, at Mario's house right now, so, uh, Let's get a move on. Actually, I think I'm, I'll show you the item shop really quick. So yeah, here's the item shop in the first screen of Toad Town. We get a Fright Jar, not that useful. Sleepy Sheep, not that useful. Pal Block, it's going to be fairly useful in, this, in the first uh, stage of the game. Fire Flower, Honey Syrup, and a Mushroom. We should get some Honey Syrup. Wait, hold on a sec. Wait, was that Honey Syrup? Oh! oh. Oh, fine. Okay, I was thinking of something else. Okay, yeah. Um, there's an item in the game called Maple Syrup, and and it'll, like, recover, like, 10 FP. And I, and I forgot for a second that the Honey Syrup actually recovers 5 FP. That, for some reason, I thought it was, like, HP. Okay, then we come over here. There's this little windmill like, thing with a rotating roof. Um, this is, this over here is, will be, will be the badge shop. You can buy badges here from Ralph. Over here's a flower garden. And there's some weird looking toads here. But I can already tell those are the Cooper Brothers. Because look at their colors, man. They are definitely the Cooper Brothers. There's a toad house where you can rest. The post office. Alright, let's go ahead and save, by the way. Alright, let's go down here really quick. I'm going to show you what's down here. Okay, yeah, this area um, is blocked off right now because of uh, the earthquake, so there's like nothing you can do here yet. Um, but it'll be unlocked, I think, after about chapter two, or chapter one, I think chapter one. Okay, so we've got to go to Shooting Star Summit, so we go through this gate with the stars, and we go to the depressing castle ruins, castle like where it once stood, I forget what you call it, ruins, remainders, where, where, where the castle used to be. Okay. 
across this bridge and get some shooting stars coming out. And you want to go this way. And this way goes to shooting star summit. Okay, yeah. There's that um, star with a mustache. Welcome, Mario. We've been waiting for you. We're the Seven Star Spirits. Our job is to grant the wishes of good people from our home in Star Haven, a place high beyond the sky. We're going to tell you something incredibly important. Please listen carefully. The other day, Bowser and his followers invaded our peaceful Star Haven. They stole our prized treasure. The Star Rod, which we've cared since for since the beginning of time. The Star Rod is powerful beyond belief. It can grant any wish. Far as long as we can remember, Bowser has been making wishes like, for instance, I'd like to trance Mario, or I want Princess Peach to like me. Of course, stars ignore such selfish wishes, as we know Bowser is narcissistic. As a result, his wishes were never granted. Bowser left fate. When he found out that we were ignoring his wishes, he came and stole the Star Rod so he could grant his own wishes. He seems content right now, mainly because he defeated you and captured the princess. Soon enough, though, I fear he will wish for more, and then terrible things will happen. It is the responsibility of the seven Star Spirits to keep the Star Rod safe and use it properly. I don't know why I'm using a country voice for this guy. We must get the Star Rod back from Bowser and return it to its rightful place. In order to do this, Mario, we need your help. Sadly, right now you are not strong enough to challenge Bowser. He has made himself all-powerful by making wishes with the Star Rod. He is terrible to behold. Once we seven Star Spirits are reunited in Star Haven, we can give you the power to fight Bowser even with his newfound strength. With our help, you can prevail. Mario, we are... Alas, we've nearly exhausted our power to talk to you. Although it looks like we're there beside you, it's only an illusion. We're, we're using all of our strength to communicate with you over a great distance, but even now, our strength is fading. We've been caught and are being held by Bowser's followers in different places throughout the Mushroom Kingdom. Please, Mario, first of all, you must rescue us. In order to take back the Star Rod back from Bowser and save Princess Peach, we need your help. Please, Mario. You are our last hope, and we will. And they disappear. Mario, it looks like things are a lot more serious than I thought. Do you think the princess is going to be alright? I'm really worried about her. Alright, let's save and continue. We're going to get our next cutscene. And oh yeah, this is uh, really beautiful music. I like this song. It's like Peach's theme. Mario's probably hurt. Everyone's in prison. The Mushroom Kingdom will be destroyed if things continue the way they're going. Something must be done. If only somebody could help me. Oh, it's Bowser. Oh, she... For a second, I thought it was somebody else. <laughs> My dear Princess Peach, how are you doing this fine day? It's no use waiting for Mario this time, my dear. We're so high about this guy now, even Mario doesn't have a chance of reaching us up here. You know, Princess, as long as I have this star rod, no one in the Mushroom Kingdom can touch me. You know the power that grants everyone's wishes? It's mine. Isn't that just wonderful? Yeah! Imagine what it's like down in your kingdom. Your subjects must be so upset because their wishes aren't being granted. Oh, how delightful! They deserve it for the way they've treated us Koopas over the years! If you... If you, you know, want anything, all you need to do is ask me, Princess. I can grant wishes. Of course, I'll only grant wishes, wishes requests that I like. Anyway, think about it. You take care, Princess Peach. Enjoy your stay here. You watch yourself, Princess. You'd better not cause trouble. <laughs> 
Alright, enough of that gravelly voice for a second. Oh, please! If only somebody could help me! What's that? Huh? Oh, now this now this little star right here is, is, an, is an important character. This guy, um... I'll let him do the talking. And I don't think I'm going to put on a pretty high voice for this. <laughs> Hello, Princess Peach. Pleased to meet you. My name is Twink. But you're... you're a star kid, aren't you? How'd you get here? I came from Star Haven to grant your wish. It's our job to grant wishes, you know. Oh! You came because I wished that somebody could help me! Oh, that was a question. Oh, never mind. Yes, of course. Oh, that's just great! Thank you so much for coming! Here's my wish! Go right now and take that star rod back from Bowser, okay? Think you can do it? Uh, sorry. That's a little much for a novice star like me. Maybe one of the honorable star spirits from Star Haven could grant a wish like that. I'm so sorry. Please ask for something easy. Something a small star can do. Then... Can you take me away from here? Everyone in my castle has been captured and I have to save them as all as soon as possible. Oh, I'm sorry. I can't grant that wish either, I'm afraid. Actually... I just got called up to the sky a day ago, so I can't do big wishes yet. If I were a more splendid star, maybe I could actually help. It's alright. Don't be sad, Twink. Mario will definitely do something to save us all. He's probably coming right now. Oh, Twink! Do you think you could find Mario? I want, to g I want you to give this to him. I like to face that. This is a this is a lucky star, isn't it? Okay, I'll do it. Princess Peach, I'll fly to the Mushroom Kingdom just as quick as I can. Oh, wait, Twink. Wait one second. Can you also please tell Mario that I'm fine and he shouldn't worry. Okay? Can you tell him that? Of course. I'll tell him your I'll tell him your exact words, Princess Peach. Definitely. Now don't be, now don't despair. I'll be back soon, so stay safe until I return, okay? And then this is a cool shot of Princess Peach with uh, pretty beautiful music. Mario, where are you? Mario, Mario, where art thou, Mario? A little paper Romeo and Juliet for you. Okay, so uh, we make our way out of Shooting Star Summit, and we cross the bridge here. Oh, ouch! And there's Twink! Oh, sorry, sorry, so sorry, I'm in a huge hurry. Oh, it's... you're Mario, aren't you? Thank the stars I found you! Nice pun. How do you do? I'm Twink. Princess Peach asked me to bring something to you. Uh, yes, here it is. Here, this is it. Take it. And this is the Lucky Star. A star-shaped pendant. Let's you use the action command. Um, the action command is a very useful, um... Sorry. The action command is a very useful, um, combat feature. Um, actually, hang on a sec. That's the Lucky Star from Princess Peach. Now that it's yours, you can use the action command. May I take a moment to explain what the action command is? No, thank you. This is important, Mario. I think you'll want to know about this. No, thank you. I said it, and I mean it. Oh, okay. Great. I don't even have to explain. I can explain for you. Um, the action command... Um, yeah, if you like... If you're in combat, and... Uh, oh, sorry, hang on a second. Here you are. That's a magic Koopa. Or no, that's a Kamek. What? It can't be. Were you following me? What a foolish star kid. I knew that if I followed you, I'd find Mario. If I defeat Mario right now, I'll be famous. Oh, you'll be in the tabloid, huh? I'll tell Kimmy Koopa. She'll shower me with praise. She'll give me a raise. Ha ha ha. Here I come. Um, anyways, the action command, um... It's a thing where, like, if you, if you attack an enemy, and if you time it, like, right when you hit the enemy, you'll, um be able to um, hit that enemy again. So like if we um, jump on the Magic Koopa and we press A at the exact time before landing. Oh, actually, hang on, I messed that up, hang on. 
Okay, for some reason... Okay, for some reason I didn't do that right. Oh, uh, yeah. Uh, okay, wait just a second. There we go. Okay. Um, the action command, if, uh, you press A right before landing, you'll be able to hit the enemy again. So... Okay. Why did that not... That was not supposed to go as planned. Okay. You can also use it to defend yourself, like I just did. For some, okay, for some reason, I can defend myself, but I can't attack with the action command. <sighs> what the heck? Okay, I'll just use the power jump. Okay, I feel a little embarrassed. Um, normally, that's supposed to work, but uh, at least I could defend myself. Okay, whatever. Well done, Mario. You're as strong as uh, they say. I know. I know that you'll be able to catch. Def I know you'll be able to defeat Bowser. I'm going to return to Princess Peach's side. I'm not strong enough to really help her, but at least I can tell her you're okay. Well, Mario. See you later. He's coming back. Oh dear! I almost forgot to tell you the message from Princess Peach. I'm all right, so don't worry about me. That's exactly what she said, and that's and that's right. Exactly. Get that? I get the feeling, though, that she's very lonely. Anyway, I'll do my best to help the both of you. But please be brave. You must save Princess Peach. There's a lot of dialogue. There he, there he goes, back to Bowser's castle. What a brave little guy. Let's get down to business. Okay. So now after all that dialogue and cutscenes, we can finally make our way back to Toad Town. Um, we talked to this toad. Oh, Mario! Uh, Merlin was looking for you. He lives in that house with a spinning roof. He asked me to tell you to go meet him in his house. I was just about to go look for you, but here you are. It's rare for Merlin to call somebody over to his house. He's a bit, ex he's a bit eccentric. Even when he has visitors, it's rare for him to come out of the house and all. Okay, uh, alright. So what we're gonna do right now, actually, before we visit Ver before we visit Merlin, we're going to, uh, recover our HP and FP at this Toad House. So, we'll recover really quickly. And then, uh, do you sleep well? Am I losing my faster? Okay. And we're gonna save, we'll deal with these guys later. We're gonna save right now. And then we're going to deal with um, the odd toads that you just saw um, blocking the pathway. We're going to deal with those um, weird toads and talk to Merlin in the next part. And then hopefully we're going to get some uh, real progress going on in this game. So uh, stay tuned for part 5 coming up in just a little bit. See you then everybody. Take care.